Aloha and Sat Nam friends. I hope you're doing well riding these waves of new awakening that keeps coming through. So let's just remember how we're being guided through this process of awakening, really rapid acceleration of awakening. And we're being guided by our very own higher selves, our very own spiritual essence. So I want you to just remember or think about maybe for the first time that it's your spiritual essence that's um, guiding you and filtering everything that's coming through with these changes. You And it's literally your spiritual essence, your consciousness that is um, noticing what is it that you no longer need, noticing how quickly you can shift holding space for others as they shift and, and hopefully helping others through their ascension process also um, by getting them connected with their I am presence and getting them connected with their spiritual essence. And of course, that's a, a practice and that's what we do, right? As um, you know, we're both the master and the student, but we, we bridge things for other people and maybe even just having this conversation with someone else about um, giving them a foundation for, which is what we do on the retreats, give people a foundation for having the tools of the meditation and the sound healing and connection with nature to then go ahead and be the bridge for others and be the bridge for yourself. So just two other messages here for August. Um, it is a, a rest time, kind of a resting opportunity, um, which may not mean everything is stopped, but um, things are a little quieter. Um, you know, maybe you have usually four different things going on and now just two of them are firing and the other two are quiet. And just, I encourage you to take advantage of this quiet time to really allow the acceleration and your awakening process to be a little bit more of the focus. I mean, of course, you're still doing everything that needs to be done in 3D world, but yeah, there's a, hopefully you are seeing and having a little bit more space so that you can have um, just some quiet time to allow processing for yourself and um, or, or always more time in nature, right? Um, it's an opportunity for not only regeneration, but generation, an opportunity to start anew with a new vitality, with this healthy body, with purification, sanctify, purify and sanctify your temple, which is your body. Um, so I encourage you to um, if you don't, I have several altars in my house. I just love the altars with the crystals and the crystal bowls and um, just some mentors and teachers along the, you know, however you want to create your altar. And then as you're sitting at that altar each day, you can actually both be putting things or, you know, energies or situations on the altar that you want purified. So it could literally be an altar of purification, which means um, you could think of it like Ho'oponopono, where it's an opportunity for forgiveness, an opportunity to purify, purify your thoughts, the thoughts of the other people, purify circumstances, purify your home. So um, getting in the purification can also be clarity. So, um, yeah, so those are the ideas uh, that were coming through to me as messages for you for August. I hope you're doing fantastic and living your best life ever. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Good to see you.